the hexaflexagon. Making the hexaflexagon. So, you got a first step is going to be use the straight edge and make a straight line on your piece of paper. In my case, I wanted to make an extra long one, so I connected two pieces of paper and extended my line onto the second piece of paper to make it very long. So, you know, copy here, copy here, extend there. Once you have him, once you have your line, then you use your compass or compass in English and make these lines here. You need to keep your compass at the same rate or whatever throughout the whole hex flex again. So first you'll make another mark on that line and you'll make one up in the air. Then You'll take this one and you mark it up here. <laughs> oh, never mind. So you make these marks all the way throughout, and that will create 19 equilateral triangles. Once you, once you connect them, it'll make 19 equilateral triangles, which you will see in my next slide. <laughs> Hi, guys. Well, as you can see, I drew in the 19 equilateral triangles. But first, I'll show you how I did it. So, where the two lines intersected at the top, that'll be a point on your triangle. So you make that point, and then you'll use your straight edge and connect from here to there, and then from where that intersected, from that to the, to the line on the bottom. And so you do that throughout the whole thing, using your straight edge, and then you'll get down to here. That's your 19th, 19th triangle. So then, once you do that, then the line on the top, you need to do like this. Just with your pencil, you know, from here to here. That's, that's it. And then uh, once you're done, you can erase. See, like, you know, erase these and erase those at the top. And then now, it's time to decorate your hexaflexagon. As you can see, I decorated my hexaflexagon and I chose six patterns for each six faces and I've done the patterns in a certain order as you can see on my practice hexaflexagon. So as you can see there's an X then CBA CBA and here's X CBA CBA and they all match all the way through and on the flip side you can do F F E E D D F F you know all the way through and then put an X there and then the X on this side and now you'll be ready to fold it. Okay, this is how you're gonna have to fold your hexaflex again. So you'll find the third triangle from this side and you'll fold it under and then that same triangle go one down and then you flip that up and then you do that same pattern for the whole hex flexion. Keep folding over and over over until you get to the end where you flip the X under. So you have a pattern of A, B, B, C, C, A, A, B, B, and then C. And on the back, you can tell you did it right if you have two X's on the ends. So after that, you're going to have to take the fourth triangle and flip it under like that and then again if you hold it like this then the fourth triangle right here you'll flip that under and you'll notice that this one does not match so you're, you're going to want to have that all the way under so you lift all of this up and you put that under and then if you did it right then on the back you'll have these two X's which is where you put the glue so you glue that, seal that baby up tight, and then you're ready to start. So starting on phase one, we move to phase two, then two, phase three. Then from there, we go back to phase one. Then we move again to phase two. Then we move now to phase four. And from phase four, 
we move to phase 5. Then from 5, we go back to phase 2. And from phase 2, we go back to phase 4, which is which eventually leads us to phase 1. And from phase 1, we can access phase 6.